Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and yet again I'm back with the brand new LG G4 and this time around I'm going to be discussing the newly released maintenance update on uh, the international variant of the LG G4. Now those of you who've been watching my videos over the last uh, few weeks, you guys know already that I have the international version of the LG G4. This is the G4 that I got from uh, clove.co.uk and this is an unlocked SIM free international version of the LG G4. So these variants always get the updates first and the update will eventually follow to other uh, network variants of the LG G4. So you're, if you're in the UK or US or anywhere and if you have a network LG G4 um, you will eventually get the update at some point depending on how quickly your network can release the update. Okay so I got this update about a week ago and now I've lived with the phone for a while. If you've been watching the channel you must have seen the, the pros and cons video of the LG G4. There were some minor bugs here and there which um, have mostly now been eradicated uh, and they've been fixed after the update so let's quickly have a look and see which update did I get and how big was the size of the update so I took a screenshot of the update so that I could show you guys in the video there it is okay so as you can see the update was uh, it got to me around uh, end of June even though yeah, as you can see the new version of here says is um, V10B June 11 uh, this was probably the time when they loaded the update onto their servers the LG but I got it around end of June so I had the update for nearly uh, a week maybe a bit more I think and um, anyways so let's have a quick look at what it said when it came when it popped on my phone a new software version available on your phone it's over 20 meg please use Wi to download, go in settings about and the regular stuff. So the total size of the update was 180 meg and uh, there you go. Let me just bring the phone a bit close to the camera so you can guys can see a bit more clearly. So the update was 180 meg in size and the enhancements included usability improvement through Google patch and phone usability and functionality has been further improved. Okay so let's discuss the update now what are the things which I discussed in my videos uh, uh, in which I discussed uh, the cons on the G4 the very first issue that I had was with the Wi-Fi connection and the data connection now if you remember from my, that video I did tell you that uh, Wi-Fi was at times a bit funny if you had two routers uh, say from uh, from a, uh, from each uh, on, on a, at a distance from each other uh, the, the, the phone was unable to switch between the closest Wi-Fi router available this is called smart switching so it wasn't doing that before so if you were to say come home for instance and you were to switch your Wi-Fi on uh, the phone wouldn't pick your Wi-Fi even though the phone did remember your Wi-Fi connection but it wouldn't pick it up but now I've seen I go to work I come back home I went to, went to my friends uh, the other day as well he's got two routers and the phone was able to switch between Wi-Fi uh, very easily and also it was able to pick up the Wi-Fi wherever you were very easily before it was a bit of a hit and miss so every now and then it would just skip the Wi-Fi it wouldn't connect but now LG has finally uh, sorted the problem out and thank you for the LG because it was at times very very annoying also with the data connection if you remember in my video on pros and cons on the LG G4 and then every now and then uh, like, like one out of 20 times uh, the Wi-Fi the, uh, the 4G connection or the 3G connection wouldn't come up so if you were to switch the 3G on it wouldn't come on every now and then it was very annoying as well but I'm happy to report now that the 3G and 4G connection has also been fixed so every time you switch the data connection on 3G and 4G comes up so there's no problem there whatsoever now one thing which a lot of people actually complained about on the LG G4 if you go online you go around the world lots of people are complaining about the LG G4 missing your taps on the screen now after the update I've, I've seen one thing um, that they would if you remember what I said in my pros and cons video one of the cons was where occasionally it was it was missing the taps here and there very very occasionally but now I, I'm happy to report that those taps are not missing anymore the screen is more fluid is more responsive and the overall performance has been improved I have to admit though still I do get a few missing taps on the uh, on the lock screen when I'm double tapping the screen every now and then I do get a mistap but I have to admit that the frequency of mistaps has definitely re reduced and the performance has improved the tap missings have improved so LG no LG knows there was a bit of a problem with taps and they have done pretty well to pretty much uh, you know um, get all the taps off all the missing taps um, been completely fixed and I think it's almost 99% I would say every now and then you will get an occasional tap but mostly on the lock screen you won't get missing taps anymore on the main screen or whilst you're playing with the phone but on the lock screen every now and then you will get a missed tap I hope that in the next update they will even fix that as well but then again it's minor like I said mostly the phone has been fine even before the update it wasn't too bad the experience was pretty good and there was not much of an issue whatsoever 
and you know, after the update is improved even further there are less missing taps and the performance has been very very smooth and very nice um, since the update okay apart from that if I remember uh, there was nothing much else to discuss uh, Wi-Fi data um, the occasional missing taps and um, yeah the battery is unaffected the performance has even been refined uh, there was an occasional lag before the update here and there but now the lag is almost completely gone uh, I have noticed one thing though when you put the phone to sleep and if you leave it for a while and you come back and you open the phone up occasionally it takes a bit of while for the phone to um, you know to to uh, to get get up and running like it will have like a one or two second lag in these animations and that too is because I think this is an hexa core 808 Snapdragon so it has two dual cores and four quad cores so when the phone is running uh, like in a normal state where you're playing with the UI or normal stuff then those two dual cores are running but once you push the phone to the limit then the other four quad cores come into play as well so there's a hexa core six core uh, configuration and that's why when you sleep when the phone is asleep when you put it up every now and then uh, it will lag just just for a bit or two second or two uh, because the dual cores are obviously uh, handling trying to handle the affair themselves and as you know the LG UI is a bit on the heavier side but once th things are up and running then it's very very smooth and there's no issues whatsoever the battery performance like I said has been unaffected overall the overall performance has been refined and the missing taps have definitely reduced a lot and the Wi-Fi uh, issue and uh, the data issue the small bugs have also been rectified so guys, uh, this was a quick short video to give you an update of what's happening on uh, the maintenance, uh, what happened after the maintenance update to the G4. And uh, let's have a quick look at the um, RAM management as well before we leave, because that's also one area where lots of phones, especially LG and Samsung phones, have been suffering in the past, and especially the new Galaxies. So this is the RAM management at the moment, and as you, as you can see, we still have around uh, 8 to almost a gig of free RAM available even after using the LG G4 for uh, over a month the RAM management has been excellent and there's been no issues and you always have around one gig of RAM free on the LG G4 so no issues on the RAM management side as well so guys this was a quick video showing you uh, uh, the performance of the LG G4 after the first maintenance update if you like my video please give it a thumbs up if you got any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and uh, please subscribe guys uh, as it helps the channel and I will see you in the next video